In this tutorial, we'll cover default text properties and font substitution. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial. There are two ways to change my default font for both types of text, artistic and paragraph. When I activate the text tool, the default font and size for paragraph text is listed in the property bar. Before I click anywhere to start the text, I can change the defaults. I'll choose the font I want to use as my artistic text default, and in the prompt that appears, I'll choose artistic text and click OK. The same thing happens when I change the font size, which I'll also set as the artistic text default. And I could do this for text color as well, and for other properties such as font style, underlining, horizontal alignment, etc. Now when I click to start artistic text, the font and size I set appears in the property bar, and my default color is used. These properties will be used each time I create artistic text. I'll activate text again, and before clicking anywhere, I'll set the font and size I want to use for paragraph text. Now these properties will be used each time I activate text, draw a text frame, and type. This will also be the default text if I choose an existing shape as the text frame. The other way to set default fonts is in the Object Styles Inspector. I'll open Default Object Properties, then Artistic Text. Not only can I set a default font, style, and size, but I can set kerning, choose from a variety of fills and background fills, set an outline, and here are all the paragraph properties I can set. Up here, I could also set text transparency. I'll add some new artistic text, and if I want to change existing text to the new default, I can select it and click Apply to Selection. I can use this inspector to set defaults for paragraph text as well, along with several other types of objects. Note that the defaults I've set only apply to the current document. If I want these to be the defaults for future documents as well, I'll choose Corel Draw. Save settings as default. I'll make sure that default object properties is checked before clicking save. If I open a document that includes fonts that aren't on my computer, I'll see the substitute missing fonts window, listing all fonts found in the document that I don't have on my system. The Pano system is used to determine which of my available fonts are the closest to the ones I don't have. Selecting each font displays the Pano's suggested match for that font. If I click OK now, the Pano substitutions will be used for all five missing fonts. I can also choose to substitute fonts I choose myself. When choosing a font, I can choose this option to limit my choices to those that share the same code page as the missing font. A code page is a set of characters that have ASCII numbers assigned to them and a shared code page means that characters in both fonts will have the same numbers. Alternatively, I can choose from all fonts in my system. I can also choose to save this exception, meaning substitution, for future font matching. Down here, I can also choose permanent to use the substituted font when saving the file, or I can choose temporary to keep the original font when saving. Manual font substitution would have to be done for each missing font. To set application-wide font substitutions, I'll choose Corel Draw, Preferences, Corel Draw. Then I'll open the text page to the Fonts tab. Here I can choose where or whether to show Pano suggestions, as well as the default substitution font if a closer match can't be identified. I can also open exceptions to define substitutions I want to use when opening any document. I'll enter Impact as the missing font, and from the font list, I'll choose this impact condensed font that I do have. Then I'll click Add Exception. Now this substitution will be done automatically when opening a document. I can remove an exception by selecting it and clicking Remove. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on default fonts and font substitution in Corel Draw. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, You'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page 
on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial.